Hello, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Hello, Jimmy Dore. This is Kevin Spacey. Oh, hello, disgraced actor Kevin Spacey. It's good to hear from you. That is correct. And how are you doing? How is that whole thing that you do? Whatever it is, how is that? Well, it's going quite well. Thanks for asking. How are you doing? I've seen better days, to be honest with you. Oh, really? Yes. A Los Angeles Superior Court judge just ordered me to pay $31 million in restitution to the production company behind House of Cards, my former show on Netflix. A single judge decided this. I did not get to be adjudicated by a jury of my peers because they couldn't <laughs> find 12 of my peers. <laughs> All right, I see. $31 million. That is absolutely outrageous. An injustice. Are you going to pay it? Are you out of your mind? Of course not. I'll take this all the way to the Supreme Court if I have to. The UN. First of all, I don't have that kind of money just lying around that they know of. And even if I did, I wouldn't pay a dime of it to these scumbags. Is that so? Yes, that is so. Let's look at the facts of the case. I didn't quit or violate a contract. They fired me. That's right. And then they had the audacity to produce a sixth season of House of Cards without me, the star of the show. <laughs> Real smart, gentlemen. You think Robin Wright Penn can carry an entire <laughs> season of prestige television on her own? Sorry, honey. Princess Bride was a long time ago. Ouch. Put on a Band-Aid, it's about to get worse. <laughs> so, of course, the season tanked and they lost money. And that is my fault? How exactly? Please explain that to me. How I'm liable for their boneheaded decision. The dumbest decision in Netflix history. Explain it. <laughs> Pull out a dry erase board and start writing down equations and shit and explain <laughs> this to me. But they did. But why did they fire you, though? Because they're stupid. <laughs> what was the reason they gave? I don't know. Yes, you do, Kevin Spacey. I guess it was something about allegations. What kind of allegations? The sexual kind. What <laughs> other kind is there? You never hear about allegations of gardening misconduct. Get real. Grow up. Well then that is bad. You, you can get fired for that sort of thing, no matter who you are. Oh, please, spare me. I hit on men. Big deal. I guess men can be sexually harassed, too. Wait, what? what? I said men oh. can be sexually harassed, too. No one really thinks that. <laughs> Come on. I grab men's butts. <laughs> Get over it. If I'm not supposed to grab men's butts, then why are they shaped like that, and why are they near me? That, that, that's not appropriate behavior. If I do it, it is. <laughs> I'm Kevin Spacey, goddammit. One of the best stage and screen actors in the world. It's not like you got groped by a community theater director in South Bend, Indiana. That's no excuse for sexual assault, though. Oh, is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess unwanted sexual touching of any kind is sexual assault. Okay, you just made it weird. No. <laughs> no, I think you did by assaulting the co-worker sexually. Get over it. Mr. Spacey... It is baffling by how much you refuse to take all of this seriously. You're facing criminal trials in London for three counts of sexual assault between 2005 and 2013. Well, what was going on back then? It's okay for the U.S. to invade Iraq, but not for me to invade a Zach. <laughs> Invoking the Iraq war and using bad puns don't make you look any better right now. Oh, no, now I look bad. 
bad <laughs> horrors. Whatever shall I do? No one will hire me, and I owe thirty-one million dollars to bird-brained dimwits. But now I look bad. Please help me, Jimmy Dore. Whatever shall I do? Well, maybe start taking some of this stuff seriously and show a little contrition. For harassing men, never. No apologies. <laughs> Women who have been sexually harassed by men see me as a Robin Hood type, returning the favor on their behalf. Hey, has any woman ever actually <laughs> said that to you, though? No, but I can feel it. <laughs> I see. In fact, that's how I'll stage my comeback. Me being canceled is just Hollywood sexism on display. It's because my victims are men. Harvey Weinstein did a million times worse for years before he was called to account. I slap a male buttock here and there. <laughs> then suddenly I'm a show business pariah, 30 mil in the hole, and set to be tried in London for violating some stupid Victorian politeness laws by people in powdered wigs. This is misogyny. <laughs> I really think that argument's a stretch. You bet your ass it is. And I'm such a good actor that I will make it make sense to people. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the wild things I've managed to get people to agree to. Well, you're not fooling me, pal. Luckily, I don't have to fool you or any man. I just have to fool all women. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Wow. <laughs> By claiming to fight misogyny, you are even exposing your own <laughs> sexism. Amazing. Thank you. I have more tricks up my sleeve. You just wait and see. You haven't seen the last of old K-Space. My <laughs> comeback is imminent. I'm in talks for a small role in the upcoming Liam Neeson action movie, Tusk Breaker 2, Rise of the Mastodons. You're delusional. There was never even a Tusk Breaker 1. Well, they'll have to make it after they see how good I am in 2. <laughs> And from there, I'll inevitably be cast as a Marvel villain for Phase 9. Dr. Hands or something. Just grabbing butts all over the galaxy. <laughs> I've had my eye on you for quite some time, Star-Lord. Anyway, have to go. It's 3 p.m. Have to go have an argument with my microwave. Later, losers. Kevin Spacey. Hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy coming to your town, Indianapolis, Louisville, Cincinnati, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Detroit, Rochester. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our dates. See you in Denver, too.